Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the agenda is graconic inequalities. Now, unlike graphing on the last one where it was going to be fairly inaccurate, graphing here is really going to be our friend. Now, first things first, let's take just two conics as we have with an equal sign, and let's get them graphed. So very quickly, set of axes, my center is at 2 comma 3, and I have a circle because my bases are the same, so my radius is 2 in both cases. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And there we go. Now, we would have a circle. Next, we would have our parabola. Our parabola is going to be, again, over 2, but only up 1. 1, 2, up 1. Now, from there, we can take that and say, okay, I have 8 equals 4p, so p equals 2, 1, 2, there's my focus, 1, 2, there's my directrix, and it opens somewhere in here. Not entirely sure, but it opens up somewhere in there. So in that case, it looks like we have three places it touches. Now, if on the other hand we're dealing with inequalities, that's easy enough, let's deal with less than in the first piece and let's go greater than in the second piece. Now, the question becomes which areas do we shade? Now, previously it was dotted or solid above or below when we we're dealing with linear equations. In this case, we still have dotted or solid. Now they're solid because I began with equal signs. But if there were no equal to component, they would be dotted. The harder component is where do I shade? Now, the easiest thing to do is simply to pick a point. Uh, 0, 0 is always an easy point. If I pick 0, 0 and plug it into the circle, I get negative 2 squared over 4 plus negative 3 squared over 4, and the question becomes, is that less than or equal to 1? Well, in this case, I'm going to get 1 plus... 9 fourths. Now obviously that's not going to be less than or equal to 1. So I plug 0, 0 in. It did not work. Since it was outside the circle and it didn't work, I must need to shade inside the circle. So outside versus inside rather than above or below. Now, same thing for the parabola. If I plug in 0, 0, Again, 0, 0 is chosen simply because it's an easy number to use. Now, in this case, I get negative 8, and the question is, does that go together with 4? Is 4 greater than negative 8? The answer is yes. So, if I chose 0, 0, and it worked, and it's out here, I need to shade out from the parabola. Now, the question becomes... Although I can solve for a parabola, I can solve for the circle, what solves the system? And the answer in this case is going to be just the area where we have two sets of shading. So it's going to be in these components where I have inside the circle yet outside the parabola. So just those two bits. Now, not too shabby. That's how we approach conic inequalities, so nothing too crazy. There'll be some homework here momentarily. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is your homework. You have one, two, three problems. Graph them nice and big. I want each one on about a half a page. Do not try cramming these on one side of a page. In fact, if you use three separate sides of a page, that wouldn't hurt anything either. Uh, make sure you do those and make sure you do the quiz.